Hi there, everyone. Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. And today, well, the main topic is going to be the impact from a typhoon or super typhoon, whatever you want to call it. Sulik continuing to roll off here towards the west, towards the southern Japanese islands, also into Taiwan and eventually eastern Taiwan. So in today's update, we're uh, not going to be talking so much about what is going to be impacting the storm system but what is going to be the effects but first though let's talk about right now what do we have out here well Solik has winds gusting up to about 252 kilometers per hour with JTWC's warning that has it even higher than that so a very destructive very strong storm but a little bit too much of a good thing here going through the day today because uh, we had this very well defined circulation but around the storm system actually let's pull back out at that infrared imagery of the entire western Pacific and what we we can see is a lack of cloud cover around the storm system, especially towards the north, that same ridge that's been in place, keeping the storm system farther down there towards the south. It also has been keeping well very hot weather across much of South Korea and western Japan, actually heat advisors uh, in place throughout the day here across most of the region. That has been drawing some drier influence on the western periphery. So we might see a slight weakening. Now, a slight weakening from a violent typhoon to a less violent typhoon. That will be the difference with the storm system. Even the uh, enhanced infrared imagery, you can still see good banding coming in from the south, even off there towards the north, that buzzsaw-like structure. The eye is still very well defined, so even a little bit, a bit of drier influence, uh, it is not going to weaken it out too much, but we do want it to weaken before it starts to push out here towards the west because right now, the southern Japanese islands, including Ishigaki, Miyako, Jima, Okinawa, you should be seeing some tropical storm strength winds. And actually, I'll address that first because I've gotten at asked a lot today. What is the weather going to be like in Okinawa? Most of it's been from military there as well. So let's take a look at what your uh, official track there is from the Kadena uh, Air Base there. And it winds about 40, gusting up to 50 knots is what they're expecting. I think that is a very safe bet. You could be seeing some wind gusts higher than that. But the storm the will be uh, passing well to the south of Naha here and eventually off there towards, well, what we have here in the Ryoku Islands, Miyakojima, Ishigaki. And as we can see here, though, let's look ahead into, well, Friday. You start to see some of these winds kick up, but that gradient force, the strongest force winds are not going to pass over Okinawa. The storm's going to pass well towards the south. This is where the core is. That's where the typhoon strength are. And this is probably right about this time by Thursday overnight going to Friday when I think the storm system is going to be at its peak, at its strongest. It is going to get some more moisture a little bit farther off here towards the west, suck in from the southwest monsoon over the Philippines. That's why I do expect some enhancement if we can roll down here a little bit farther towards the south. We are going to be seeing some enhancement out of this into a few areas there into northern Luzon, but uh, the bulk of the severe weather obviously will stay off here towards the north. So tropical storm strength wind there at Okinawa, also along the east coast. Don't do anything stupid. Don't go out into the ocean. Stay away from the beach. Waves will be kicking up very high, five to six meters high, uh, very well likely. Not storm surge, actually waves cresting offshore. So uh, some dangerous stuff. Where we will be seeing the storm surge up that high, five to six meters, plus the waves, plus the tide. Miyakojima, Ishigaki, these areas are, are, are going to get hit hard by that. Take a look here from the European model. This is by, well, a Friday night. Uh, we're going to be here the whole time giving you updates here. And this is going through Friday night. Miyako, Jimi, Ishigaki really getting slammed hard. But we're looking at a landfall there around Liyang County there, just towards the south of a Taipei. Uh, Keelong City is another area that's going to get hard. You're going to start to see these northerly winds come on shore going through Friday night. And these areas, that's where you're going to be seeing some storm surge out here, those high waves and the gustiest winds. And let's look ahead as the storm starts to pull away from the southern Japanese islands here and starts to move out towards northern Taiwan into Saturday, well, the early morning hours. This is actually Friday overnight into Saturday. We see a landfalling. So a landfalling night storm, at least according to this model. And as far as model outlooks go, the ECMWF, within a 48-hour period, it's a high resolution. You see this is much closer than GFS. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll pull up GFS just to compare this with you because I don't want to just show you one model. Uh, we're going to look at the official tracks near the end of this update. It's actually farther off there towards the north. Uh, right now, JMA 
and JTWC pulling it right through this area here. So kind of right in the middle of it. And with that said, though, I would go closer with showing you these examples here with the ECMWF model. I do think that ridge of high pressure is going to continue to remain in place. It's keeping those temperatures hot off towards the north. It's a very strong one. So this is going to just clip there in the northern portions of Taiwan. We have these winds coming on shore. These areas, especially some of these bays right in here, could be seeing the highest storm surges who go through the overnight hours. Um, but then the other main threat, and we see this in Taiwan and time again, is the heavy rainfall. Once this comes on shore, you have to remember there are some pretty large mountains out in this area, and they always squeeze out the moisture from the storm system. So it's landfalling category three or category four equivalent on the Saffron Simpson scale. But you can see even these isobars really pushing together right in here. That is the European model taking in account the mountains out here. And then as we pull ahead here, you can see the bulk of the precipitation right there in central Taiwan. So there's a risk of flooding out here, uh, a very serious risk of landslides as well as that does continue to push overhead. What one thing Taiwan will do if you are there into eastern China, it will act as a roadblock, a dam. It will basically stop the bulk of the precipitation, the bulk of the energy this storm system gathered over the western Pacific and drop it there over Taiwan. Still out here towards uh, Fujian, northeastern portions of Guangdong, Guangxi province, um, you could be still seeing some heavy rainfall as this does push off there towards the east. It's going to start to slowly recurve towards the northeast. Still a really strong system when it comes ashore here, dropping a tremendous amount of rainfall, but it's no longer going to be the super typhoon that we saw when it was out to sea. Now, if it pulls just north there of Taiwan and, and that ridge does back off enough, and I do say if because it's possible, then the storm system would have a much stronger punch when it comes ashore. And, well, let's take a look at GFS, same time here, going through Saturday night. It actually, well, it, it shows it a little bit farther there towards the north, but it does go off that way with much stronger punch before making landfall. Now the official track from the official agency, the Japan Meteorological Agency, always remember we are not official, so please check in with them, showing that storm system rolling off there towards the west, just south of Miyako, Jima, and Ishigaki, that puts them right in the right front quadrant, winds at 185, gusts up to 260 kilometers per hour when it rolls by, expect that same intensity right there in northern portions of Taiwan, switch this over to JTWC, you can see their cone extending out there in a very similar direction. I love it when both agencies are on the same path here. Uh, I don't have it on here, so we're going to go away from the information, uh, the Tropical Information Center here at the webpage over to Taiwan's Bureau of Meteorology and see what they're saying. You see that track pulling off there towards the west, just clipping right over Taipei, same as the other agencies. Three agencies on the same track. Um, granted, two of them are just WMO approved, but uh, yeah, I do think that it is going to move off there just south of Ishigaki over through Taipei, Taiwan, bring those high winds, storm surge near the coast, uh, a lot of rough weather here. Okinawa, I know I've been asked it over and over again today, you're going to get tropical storm strength winds, stay out of the ocean, stay away from the coast. That is my advice to you, really, as this goes by. It's not going to be one of those storms you would remember. All right, if you watch this whole update, thank you very much. Uh, if there's any other questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them down in the comment box below. Let me know you watched the whole update. I always appreciate that feedback. Also, uh, going through uh, Thursday here at 03 UTC, uh, we will be doing that live interactive update, a uh, Google Hangout, also simul streaming, simultaneously streaming it on YouTube, so you can just post your comments into the chat room here at the Tropical Information Center, or you can post it on the comment box on YouTube or even on our Facebook page, any place you want. We can field those questions for you if you do have any last-minute questions about what's going on here. Right now, I would just say, listen to the official agencies. Just prepare for it. Always be prepared out in the Western Pacific for a tropical system. Always have those supplies ready because these stuff can really pop up in a, a very quick amount of time. And uh, stay safe out there, everybody.